Yeah, it's, it's interesting. So there is there's certainly uh, a lot of interest in chlorella. Uh, there, there has been some interest in simpler photosynthetic organisms like cyanobacteria also. So there's a, you guys are in 10th grade, is that, is that right? Sorry, I didn't catch the, ninth grade, okay. Um, so, so biology yet. what's that? We, they haven't had the biology course yet. I haven't had too much biology. Okay, I'm trying to remember my ninth grade. I think I'd, I'd just taken earth science, but I hadn't taken biology yet. So there's a difference, remember, between prokaryotes and eukaryotes. Eukaryotes being the more complex cells like what humans have. And uh, chlorella is, is, an, is a eukaryote. Uh, it's more complex. Uh, but sometimes that complexity is good. Uh, but there's also much simpler oxygenic photosynthetic organisms like cyanobacteria. Uh, and there's also been some interest in those because it turns out they're much easier to engineer due to their simplicity and just what we know about biology and, and at the research level. Uh, there's a company in the Boston area called Juul, which has been doing some, some work in cyanobacteria. Uh, there are other types of algae, uh, so again, back to the more complex things like, like chlorella, that other companies and researchers have looked at, some of which, for example, have more lipids, so they have a much higher lipid content. Uh, I think one is called nanochloropsis.